All right, it has been four years since I've been here. We are at Wonderland in Amarillo. Sophie is five credits away from 100, and they have five coasters here. So maybe, Sophie, five credits, 100 coasters? Try. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna add some director's commentary here, Netflix style. As you will hear on this vlog, the wind was blowing directly into my microphone, and it's just not nice on your ears. So Wonderland has an interesting set of coasters. Each one has its own personality. We started with Cyclone, a 1968 Myler mouse. This was manufactured by the father of the guy who runs ENF Myler. And if you found that fact interesting, then you're a hopeless coaster nerd like I am. So anyway, Cyclone is one of the most interesting coasters I've ever ridden. There's no restraint. You sit in a bathtub style car and this whips you around like crazy. You can ride it by yourself or with someone else, especially if that someone else is not another full-size adult. So I wrote this with Sophie, and this is what she thought. All right, Sophie, Cyclone. What did you think? Janky. Was it the jankiest thing you've ever ridden? Yeah. All right, you haven't seen nothing yet. We're just getting started. Next up was Mousetrap. And you would think this coaster would be called Cyclone, and Cyclone would be called Mousetrap for obvious reasons. But this is Wonderland, and nothing makes sense. This is a typical three-car Pinfari Cyclone Galaxy. And the most interesting thing was the ride op standing over the track as the train came back in. The brakes stopped the train before it got to him. But I just gotta say, this guy has a lot of faith in those brakes. If the brakes can fail on Steel Vengeance, I'm pretty sure this 47-year-old Pinfari is not failsafe. You don't like I do. I do. I just don't like that. You don't got drive tires. You got the, uh, the old old-fashioned human leg and arm to get the train back to the station. All right, Sophie, mouse trap. What do you think? But, okay, but was it jankier than Cyclone? No. Okay, so so far, Cyclone gets the jankiest award so far. I the two we've ridden. But, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, how janky was Mousetrap? 5, 6. 5 or 6. And then uh, Cyclone was a 9? Yeah. I wonder what a 10 looks like. Like, is a 10, does that mean you fly off the track and die? Uh, no, a 10 is where I bang my head and get a concussion. Okay, well, we're getting to that. Let's wait. So I figured after, you know, so many years that this uh, Spinosaurus kitty coaster would finally be open. But man, it is not. It is, uh, it's still just sitting here. It's finished, at least. But yeah, this, there's no way this thing's been operational ever. Not that I can, not that I can see. So, this whole area of the park. Ooh, look, antique cars. Steal those from Kings Island, did you? And now these uh, fancy cabanas here. So yeah, this whole area of the park's pretty much abandoned. Um, but we're not gonna get this credit today, so sorry. No 500 for you today. Oh well, I guess we'll have to do it on lightning rod, I guess. So the Hornet, fun fact, was at Six Flags Astro World, which is probably one of the reasons why it's one of the least janky coasters here. Sophie, what do you think of the Hornet? Uh, it's okay. It's okay? Yeah. yeah, kind of a slow lane family. That used to be indoors over at Astro World. So it's just sitting out here, it kind of loses some of its charm. But yeah, it's probably one of the more mild rides here. Um, so yeah, too bad. No five, no, uh, did I say 500 credits for Sophie? I meant 100. I mean, if she had <laughs> If she had 500 credits, that'd be like the most amazing thing in the world, considering that she's only like like four years old, and she's only about two feet tall or so. I told Sophie that if she couldn't stay on her side, that she'd have to ride a Texas Tornado 100 times. No, you did not. You said you would deduct $10 for my allowance every second I was on your side. You know, details, whatever, but let's go ride a Texas Tornado. Uh, they have like really slow dispatches, but I really want to ride this thing. Okay, so to get an all-day pass, you need to buy a ride pass, 30 bucks. But to ride Texas Tornado, you also need a uh, special ticket unless you buy the like the $45 pass. So I had to pay an extra eight bucks for us to ride Texas Tornado. But you know what? Totally worth it. Texas Tornado defines Wonderland. This is the icon. 
It represents everything this park is. Like Wonderland, it looks bad. But once you're done with it, you're like, oh, that was fine. You're impressed you aren't injured or dead, and you walk away with a newfound respect. It makes me think, is Wonderland really a good park? I want to say yes, but maybe it's got me fooled. Texas Tornado is a Hopkins looper. This company didn't make too many coasters, and this was their first one. It looks like they had to make some adjustments on the fly. But since they can't hit the bulldoze button like on Roller Coaster Tycoon, they had to improvise. What we got was this, and I think it's freaking awesome. It gives the ride and the park character. It also can scare little kids, so that's a problem. But I convinced Sophie to ride it. I wanted to make this her 100th coaster, but we had to settle for 99. Okay, Sophie, you nervous about Texas Tornado? Yeah. Well, you should be. You could use the bins, but you could also use the shelf. It's almost straight. And Sophie took on the Texas Jenknado. So, verdict? Huh? What's the verdict on uh, Texas Tornado? What's the verdict? The verdict isn't like, what do you think of it? Uh, it was fun. I just heard what Yeah, I looked over at her the whole time and she looked bored. And uh, I don't know. I think that the ride has a little bit of a janky transition thing going on, but in general, pretty smooth. So uh, just by looking at it, it looks like crazy janky. In reality, not bad at all. So we're kind of rushing through this park today because we left, <laughs> we left uh, Wifey and Amy and Barkley in the car. So. Um, we don't want to have them wait too long for us while we uh, ride out everything here. <laughs> you know, this place kind of has a lot of janky rides, but I'm really hoping that this sky ride is not one of them. Ooh, I see my car. Let me down here. Oh wait, now we're turning back around. If you guys come to Wonderland, there's a really look cool looking miniature golf course here. That one right there looks like it has ejector. It's like I kind of want to ride that one. Oh man, look. They have a train here. Where's Amy? We left Amy in the car, dang it. And just like that, we have made it back in one piece. Okay, so in order to get Sophie to ride Texas Tornado, I kind of told her that I would let her play some games. So um, this is my uh, what I have to pay to get some credits here. So they have all these claw machines out there, but they're not even on. I mean, they take your, they still take your money though, so that's something. Oh. I feel like I'm ready to pop. I'm not gonna get it. What the heck, Sophie? You're not very good at this. All right, so if this is the last ride of our day, we are riding the, the rainbow. Okay, so is that the best ride in the park? Most ejector in the park other than the mini golf course. You know, for as janky as Wonderland is, Sophie rightfully pointed out that their Ferris wheel is very bougie because it has seatbelts. I think this is the first Ferris wheel we've ever seen that actually has a restraint. Okay, so that is a wrap on a very short trip to Wonderland. We're just kind of passing through. Figured it'd be good to get some credits. Sophie, what is your final uh, verdict? I know you just learned that word today. On Wonderland. Great. Janky Park. There's about two pink cars, cars today. So you saw two pink cars and you got four credits. So, I don't know. I guess I'm going to go home. I'm going to burn my clothes and get a tetanus shot. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm just kidding, this park's just fine. Uh, if you guys are ever on I-40, coming to Amarillo, uh, to or from, wherever you're coming from, uh, it's worth checking out. It's not all that cheap, but um, it's a unique experience. So yeah, come by Wonderland. No, for real. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Amy, we forgot you in the car, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe next time? You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.